just looking at what you have been doing over the past period, it's really all been about restructuring and ensuring that you are operating efficiently in a very tough environment. You talk about having uh, challenges but yet opportunities within the period. Tell us uh, what exactly happened and how you've restructured the business so that you do uh, start seeing more opportunity than challenge. Yeah, firstly, you know, we started the program on the 1st of April and in our half year results we already indicated that we have to do quite a lot of things to make the business profitable. Firstly, we had to look at our core business, what we want to be, you know, maybe the business tried to grow into building markets and plumbing areas and all of these industries and that created competition with the builders warehouses out there and we found ourselves difficult competing on pricing. We also found that our bad debt in our big bad debts is, were mostly linked into the construction industry. Because in South Africa, a lot of the business comes from government and you know the payment from government is not always as, as efficient as it should be. And that put pressure on businesses in that industry to be able not to pay us. And if we don't get paid, you know, then we also go into cash flow problems. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we looked at our core, what we want to be. We want to go back to steel and steel products only. We've sold off all our building materials and plumbing materials completely out of the organization by end of May. And we've restructured the business to only be in steel and steel related products. Mm -hmm. We also looked at our client base and we want to move away, you know, corporate clients like the big construction business is always going to be a important part of our business, but it shouldn't be our main part of our business. And we wanted to diversify our risk and see how we can grow our business into the rural retail sector much bigger than into the construction industry. Well, that's interesting because you're actually just uh, uh, showing us where the economic growth is going to come from in a sense. Uh, tell us about why you chose steel and steel products. It seems that it is a very tough industry, very competitive. One only needs to speak to some of the uh, uh, steel, the, the, the scrap steel providers, and they talk about the challenges with regards to pricing. How do you overcome those challenges? And we know that um, ArcelorMittal actually supplies you with a lot of the steel. So how do you then deal with passing on the price increases to your consumer? Yeah, you know, luckily we, we're not in contracting business where we got fixed contracts. You know, when we get increases, we can b pass it on to the, to, to the consumer immediately. And we are able to pass the price increases on to the consumer. You must remember that a lot of our steel is in retail and retail products. It's not in the construction, although indirectly used in construction, it's not directly related to the big construction businesses. And, you know, we choose to go back to steel because that made the business 30 years ago. That's what made the business strong. And that's what the, made the business successful. And we went back to what made the business successful originally and we'll move away from the building and, and the hardware materials that we think the competitors in the market are quite big, there's big competitors. We also, you would see that we, our, our growth has been in the rural industry. And we started with the Alert Express container concept where we take containers, 40 foot containers into the rural areas. We put them into the, into the black areas and we operate from there and sell steel into the rural markets. And these containers have been very, very successful for us and we see huge growth into these container mm. projects that we are currently What making. kind of margins are we looking at here? Are we looking at high volumes and lower margins uh, going forward? How is that going to be? Not really. The yeah. rural market's margins are much better than the construction. Remember in the construction industry you quote for 5, 7.5%. You know in the rural markets you're trading at 30, 25 to 30%. So the steel industry and the rural industries are much higher margins than you're trading in the, in the construction business. In the, in the construction business you must remember there's a lot of big players and it's become a commodity. So people do anything to get the job and to get the pricing. And we don't compete so much anymore on pricing. We rather want to go into the rural communities and markets where we think the margins are much more mm -hmm. affordable. Uh, you also embarked on a rights offer, 3.3 cents uh, per share. Give us an indication of how the company looks right now with regards to balance sheets. Uh, obviously quite a bit of debt mm -hmm. right now. How do you plan to bring that down? Firstly, you know, we had a current debt, which was an overdraft, which we agreed with NetBank to, sh to restructure that debt into a 70 million rand five-year loan which we've been at prime minus two, which is a very big saving for us on interest. We've got a ne next loan, which is 20 million for a two year loan, which is also at prime. And then we've, we've left us with a very small overdraft facility. We've used the facility from the rights offer mainly to pay creditors and, 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 and pay a rear debt that we had in the organization. And none of it went to, to pay banks or long term debt. So we feel that where the company sits currently is that our net asset value looks, uh, you know, it's only at about 21 million from the, after the rights issue. But we believe with the structures and things that we put in play and with the three months results that I've just announced also in the results that we have turned the business and we don't think of going backwards anymore.